Do you know where? As required by Gilbert Clark Meetings Act of 1975, adequate notice this meeting was provided on January 12, 2023, by publication of notice in the Express Times and Hunter County Democrat and posting of notice in the building on the same date. Mayor Varsity? Here. Mr. Baylor? Here. Mr. Beam? Here. Mr. Kenya? Here. Mr. McDermott? Here. Mr. Lavery? Here. I believe it's you know, the United States of America, the Republic of the Spanish, one nation, under God, in the midst of the Everyone? Okay, for a motion to approve the minutes of the special meeting on March 8th, special meeting April 11th, and the regular meeting of April 20th. Anybody want to make that motion? I'll make the motion. Anybody want to second? Second. Anybody have any questions, comments, corrections, deletions? Seeing none, roll call. Mayor Barsley? Yes. Mr. Baylor? Yes. Mr. Bean? Yes. Mr. Pendick? Yes. Mr. Yes. Yeah. Looking for a motion to accept the treasurer's report and the April bill list and the interim bill list from the treasurer. Anybody want to make a motion? I'll make that motion. Anybody want a second? Second. Anybody have any questions, comments? Need anything pulled? No. Roll call. Mayor Barsley? Yes. Mr. Baylor? Yes. Mr. Bean? Yes. Mr. Pendick? Yes. Mr. McDermott? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. I'll make a motion. We accept the uh, tax collectors' tax and SOAR reports for April 2023. Anybody want a second? Second. Anybody have any questions, comments, discussion on that? Roll call. Mayor Barsini? Yes. Mr. Baylor? Yes. Mr. Beam? Yes. Mr. Kenyon? Yes. Mr. McDermott? Yes. Police Department Report Chief, do you have anything you want to add from your written report? No. No. Anybody have any questions from your Short help this month, past month, uh, Chief? Uh, we had the uh, officers, I believe, out on injury two of them during the last month. Uh, okay. well, the other reason oh, I no, asked sorry. some of the numbers were considerably uh, down. A lot of excuse time, yeah. Okay, that it? Anybody? Yeah. Joe, you have anything to be up Nothing that I have. Okay. Lisa, do you have anything to discuss on your report? The only thing I need is the approval for the property maintenance, but I don't know if you can do that after executive. Okay. Zoning and code enforcement report. We have the written one. Paul, do you have anything you want to add to it? Or uh, no, I don't. I like that. I saw what he's doing. And there's yeah, all kinds of good things going on here. I know there's a couple of bad things going on, too. But the court report for March and April. you have anything to discuss on that, Paul? Or nope. No. And the animal control that had no report this month, well, no calls this month, I should say, the negative right. report. So, uh, with that, I guess, uh, anybody have anything else you want to discuss on the news items? Otherwise, I'm looking for a motion to accept the consent agenda. I make it. Second. Any questions, comments, discussion? Last call. Roll call. Mayor Barsley? Yes. Mr. Baylor? Yes. Mr. Beam? Yes. Mr. Kenneth? Yes. Ms. McDermott? Yes. Any reports? Lily, do you have any report? Just, I have a question. I don't know if I could ask. They yeah. wanted to vote me on the, um, okay, so there's the society and there's the commission. And they wanted to see if I brought the member, so they want to know if I yeah, that's a true. member or not. Are you proud of her being a member? Or... The society is a oh. separate nonprofit. Yeah, that's not a problem. Okay. So she could serve yeah. here right Yeah. Now? Okay, so you want to be a part of that? Yeah, I'm there, so I don't mind. Okay. So do they have to bring that to you then? Uh, no, no, not for society, because they're. Do well, I have to either make the appointment? No. She can just get it, right? Okay. Okay. Thank you. That it? That was it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Yeah, I guess for recreation, we we're talking about the camp. Mm -hmm. we'll talk about it now. So yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I think. Um. Just because we don't know the numbers and the funding, Booster hasn't gotten back to me how much they can um, help out with. I think. A fee of $100 would be sufficient if we put that on the website where families can sign up um, for the playground um, for five weeks for $100. I think that should cover it. And then some maybe. This is the program we talked about last month where the youth center would run it. Um, she, she needs to get it out there now. Yeah. She only has a couple weeks. So what Brian's proposing is rep would put it out. The parents would have to pay the hundred, but they're, they're going to have to have a minimal number. I don't know what that number would be. Uh, uh, that'd be like six thousand right? dollars. Yeah, it would be sixty. Well, it would be sixty, 60 kids. But I, I know Booster will help out. I just don't know the amount. Okay. So <coughs> I don't think we don't, we don't have to cap it. Yeah, we we just yeah a hundred dollars. I think we'll just put it out there, and, so, and if it doesn't cover itself, I guess we'd have to cancel. I don't know wherever. Uh, 
Or I think we're pretty confident. It's gonna I think it, it'll cover enough. Okay. And then with the basketball camp, if we can draw money in from that and get yeah, there, I'd be good. We should be good. Yeah. I, I, I feel comfortable with just $100, though. How yeah, about if there's more than one child in a family? Still 100 per kid? I think you could probably put something in there in that program. Yeah, we could do something. What does Pete Bird do for that? You know? I think Pete they've been fun. They've been fun. Oh, they've been building yeah. something. Although I thought there is an alpha charge in like 35. I thought one of those charge at 30 or 30. Would, yeah. I mean, just like half of it or something. Yeah. All right. So the first kid, 100. Second kid. I think this year we charge, right? And then okay. see the participation and then go from okay. there. And obviously we'll have more time to, right. to get $6,000 for next yeah. year or whatever it is. Right. We can have a golf, you know, through what the are the dates? Stuff like that. It was, uh, June, yeah, I can't remember. 20. Actually, so you yeah. missed the last one? Yeah. I don't know if we went into that detail. Sure. I think it was, I think it was from the week after school ends to the last week of July, basically. Okay. Yeah. And that's roughly it. Okay. It's, it's five weeks. Yeah. 40 bucks a week, that's not a bad deal. No. 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 So, okay. That is, yeah. yeah, I'll just, I'm just going to have them put it on the website. Yep. Hey, Paul, you have any report? I just wanted to follow up. Uh, we discussed the last meeting, uh, the title for 9855. Lisa, are we, how are we doing on that? Where we left it is that I was going to just mention to Gary about the insurance increase, just to make sure that that was going to be okay. okay with the amount budgeted for this year. So you were looking into that, right? Okay. Did it, or Paul, did I ever give you that check for the other sale to go back to the township? The township's getting back thirty thirty one hundred 3100 No. From, yeah. There's a check in my mailbox for you. Okay. Nice. Basically, the equivalent of what the insurance increase was for 23. Was right. Result of 52 going on our policy, and then we sold 53. Since the township paid that, that money's going to you, not to us, obviously. So right. I okay. check and turn back over to the town. So if you wanted to, I don't know if we need a motion on the record to hand over the title, but it's simple for me to do once you guys are ready. Would that be the procedure, Mike? You're, what are you going to do with the title to the vehicle? Just turn it over to the squad. Um, I would just do do a motion, and then we could just have a resolution showing right. it. And what we did, too, because I know originally when we talked about it last year, we needed a comp value to it. And although I have it here on my phone, it was around fifty five hundred dollars yeah. or something, you know, of that age and mm -hmm. stuff of that nature. But it's, you know, it's literally a uh, twenty two year old truck at this stage of the game. Two thousand two, no, twenty one. Right. So. Okay, I make a motion. Well, how do we want to phrase that? That we sign the. Uh... That we, I make a motion that the town signs over the title for squad vehicle ninety eight fifty five. To the rescue squad. A second. Anybody have questions, comments, discussion? <clears throat> Roll call. Mayor Bursley? Yes. Mr. Baylor? Yes. Mr. Bean? Yes. Mr. Fennick? Yes. Ms. McDermott? Yes. Anything else, Paul? Nope. Professional reports. Do you have anything to report from Anelli? Yeah. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, yeah, the MS4 stormwater grant has been awarded. Um, I'm not, yeah. you may or may not receive the money yet, but. Uh, yeah. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. So we're. And I will be scheduling to start that work over the next few months. There's not a big rush on that, but we'll get going on that. Um, Bages Road 1 and 2, we're looking for approval to start work on that as soon as the budget is approved. I see that's on the agenda. So as soon as the budget's approved, I know it's in the, but in the budget. So we'll just need approval to get going on that once that happens. Um, the 2024 grant, the DOT grant, we've talked to Joe. We're going to list Willow Grove as number one, which was number two on last year's grant. And then we're going to put Lowe's Hollow as number two on that grant. So that application is going to go in here in the next couple months. I think it's due by July something. So mm -hmm. Donna's working on those. Um, the sanitary sewer, O&M bid spec, the advertisement with, was today. Uh, the bid opening is going to be June 8th. Hopefully we can award that at the June 15th meeting. Um, I think that's all, we've, all I've got. Okay, thank you. Mike Flavor, you have anything for the public? No, I do not, sir.
and on behalf of professionals here, right? <laughs> old business. Anybody have anything on their old business they want to go There's a car show. Um, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, we were going to, we were talking about changing the date, but it's Saturday. So, okay. Anybody else? Okay, new business. Anybody have anything to bring up on their new business? New business. Only one. Right. <laughs> so new business. No new business. Okay. Okay. Looking for a motion to adopt resolution 3923 as a refund of unused escrow and resolution 4023, resolution authorizing redemption of tax liens in block 2322, lot 24. Anybody want to make a motion for these things? I'll make a motion. Second. Any questions, comments, discussion? No call. Mayor Bersley? Yes. Mr. Baylor? Yes. Mr. Bean? Yes. Mr. Bennett? Yes. Mr. McCrimmon? Yes. yes. Resolution 4123 to reappoint the tax assessor. If anybody want to make a motion to adopt that resolution? I'll make a motion. Second. Okay. Anybody have any questions, comments, discussion on that? Nothing? Okay. Roll call. Mayor Bersley? Yes. Mr. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Bean? Yes. Mr. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. McDermott? Yes. Resolution 4223, designation of records of custodians and the list in our packet for that. And I'll make a motion that we adopt that resolution. Everyone want a second? Second. Any questions, comments, discussion? Roll call. Mayor Russell? Yes. Mr. Baylor? Yes. Mr. Bean? Yes. Mr. Kinnis? Yes. Mr. Kinnis? Yes. Looking for a motion to introduce ordinance number 105-2023, which is a coal in ordinance, which is what we need every year with our budget, so that next year when we go to budget, we could automatically include the COLA in our budget. Anybody want to make that motion to introduce that ordinance? I'll make the motion. Anybody want a second? I'll second. Any questions, comments, discussion? Everybody understands what that is, right? Yeah. Roll call. Mayor Barsney? Yes. Mr. Baylor? Yes. Mr. Bean? Yes. Mr. Kenyon? Yes. Mr. Thurman? Yes. Looking for a motion to adopt resolution number 4323 in self examination, exam resolution for the audit. Uh, anybody want to make that motion? I'll make the motion. Anybody want a second? Second. Bye. Questions, comments, discussion? Lisa, can you explain exactly what that is for everybody so we know what it is? I think it's every every three years the state actually reviews the whole you know budget workings and uh, every other year we have to do a resolution to sort of um, self review. Uh, ultimately, it still goes down to Trenton and they still take a look, but it's uh, less in depth. So. I just want to on the record so people can watch and know what it's about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> roll call. Mayor Barsney? Yes. Mr. Baylor? Yes. Mr. Beam? Yes. Mr. Pena? Yes. Mr. McDermott? Yes. Looking for a motion to introduce the annual budget and tax levy to the Township of Greenwich for fiscal year 2023. Anybody want to make that motion? I'll make that motion. I'll second. Questions, comments, discussion. <laughs> Anybody have anything? So what's the final? 5.4 cents? I think I saw somewhere. Yes. I think it's 5.4. And the yes. school district, was it 5.6? I don't put me on the spot. <laughs> so we're looking at probably yeah. at 11 cents. Yeah. 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 Between the yeah. two. And there's the referendum. And the, the, the largest tax increases I've been on here. Yeah. And yeah. the only thing I can say to the public, if anybody watches it, but is I think we do keep things bare bones. The challenge yeah. anybody wants to come down and look at the budget and find an areas to cut. I'll gladly listen. If anybody has any suggestions on what we can do for next year's budget, I'm open to hear from people because I don't see our problem going away. I'm not saying it's going to be 5.6 cents again next year, but we only have so many tax properties in the township that divided up to pay. And I I don't see where we have any room to really cut. I mean, we I mean, everybody always says the bare bones, but I mean, I think this is the only place I've ever been where it literally is bare bones. <laughs> like we have cut so much over the years, we have nowhere left to cut. So, I mean, I guess they pay the price for being that way too. I, I, I don't know, but that's my only explanation I can give to anyone who's watching if they're wondering why it's going up so much. I'm not happy about it. I know from the budget meetings we had, everyone up here has been concerned about it, expressed concern. And 
but believe it or not, it went down from what we originally thought we were going to have to raise it. So, so there was work done to try to get it down. So, but with that, anybody else have any comments? Roll call. Mayor Barson? Yes. Mr. Baylor? Yes. Mr. Beam? Yes. Mr. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. McDermott? Yeah. Okay. We skip any introduction of the uh, ordinance 102 for Comcast? Yeah, we're holding that. We're holding that, right? Okay, I'll make a motion. We open up public comments on ordinance number 103 2023, updating the fees for hiring off duty police. Anybody want to second that motion? I second. Anybody wishing to come up to the podium, ask any questions, or make any comments regarding that ordinance, is welcome to come up. Seeing none, I make a motion to close public hearing on ordinance 103 2023. Anybody want to second? Second. Looking for a motion to adopt ordinance 103 2023. Anybody want to make that motion? I'll make the motion. Anybody want a second? Second. Any questions, comments, discussion? Roll call. Mayor Bursley? Yes. Mr. Baylor? Yes. Mr. Beam? Yes. Mr. Pennick? Yes. Mr. McDermott? Yes. Looking for a motion to uh, introduce ordinance 104 2023 in ordinance amending the open space membership. Anybody want to make that motion? I'll make the motion. A second. Any questions, comments, discussion? Any, anybody want to give a brief explanation of exactly what we're doing with that? Well, it's hard to get nine members. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? It's kind of hard sometimes to get seven members. Yeah. I mean, last month we didn't have them. So that's what we're doing. We're reducing yeah. it from nine to seven. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. No further questions, comments? Roll call. Mayor Bersney? Yes. Mr. Baylor? Yes. Mr. Bean? Yes. Mr. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. McDermott? Yes. The fire company request. What's that? What are you wearing? Yes. Mayor, that's a. That's the, the 2009 ordinance is one that uh, allowed the fire department to charge for hazard, hazardous substances. Mm -hmm. uh, need fee schedule updated and some verbiage put in it uh, for the, the fire company to start our billing process that we were talking about for incidents out on the highway. Did you go to private providers with suggestions on what they're doing? Yes, I, forward, I forwarded oh. that all to Lisa already with the fee schedule. Uh, so that so uh yeah that's that's where it's at i don't know if it's going to be a rewrite or if it's able to be a, that ordinance able to be a, a amended yeah that'll be amended they could just move it. and i and i give um mr mexi credit because there's a lot of towns that try to expand that beyond what the statute allows you to do and theirs is in conformance with the statute so <laughs> okay looking for a motion to issue solicitor's permit for state line lawn care anybody want to make that motion Looks like all the backgrounds and stuff are in our packet from the police department. No objectives, but I'll make the motion. I'll second. We can just do an all in favor on that, right? All in favor, all right. Aye. Looking for a motion for solicitor for an application. MJ Hoffman Sunrun Solar again. I'll read it in the packet. Looks like everything's good to go. Police department to get checks. I'll make the motion. Second. Any questions, comments? All in favor, all right. Okay. Looking for a motion to adopt resolution 4423, which is the ROW agreement with Warren County. That's the right of way agreement with Warren County for the affordable housing. Anybody want to make a motion to adopt that resolution? I'll make that right. I'll second. Questions, comments, discussion? These are all things I guess we really have no choice but to do. Well, well no, I, I just say that the, I probably shouldn't say this probably again, but the county always overreaches on these things. You may remember Cannonball Fools. Right. It's their road. It's their right of way. And they wanted us to sign an indemnification agreement mm -hmm. that we would maintain the sidewalk. And we argued with the county back and forth for about six months. And they finally relented. And we agreed to put in the agreement that we would agree to enforce our ordinance because our ordinance says that it's property owner's responsibility for the sidewalk. So. In my opinion, it's a ridiculous request. The problem is we don't have six months to argue about this because if this doesn't get built by Ingerman, then that burden shifts to the town. So I exchanged emails with John Drill about that, saying that this is, and he said, we don't have the time to go back and forth with them. So not much I can do about that, but Bill, it's, you know, Bill Gleba takes that position. That, and again, it makes no sense to me. It's their road, it's their right away. And the sidewalk is not ours, but in any event, I don't think we have a choice. I think we just got to get this. Okay. Very little choices you have. 
A roll call. I guess. Are there any other questions to come? Roll call. Mayor Barcelona? Yes. Mr. Baylor? Yes. Mr. Beam? Yes. Mr. Kermit? Yes. Mr. Thurman? Okay. And looking for a motion to adopt resolution 4523, resolution authorizing execution of a third amendment to the Affordable Housing Agreement with Ingerman Development Company, LLC. John Drill had to write that. That is his fingerprints all over. But. And do you know in easy terms, Lisa, what exactly this third, third, third so, amendment is? We are out of time again in accordance with the second amendment. So <laughs> this one gives them a little more time. Okay. I just thought the way he puts the third amendment in there. <laughs> again, it's really, so, we have no control. It's affordable housing. We have no control over it. It's just you know, we have to do the resolution. Even we vote no, it's going to be a yes. Exactly. Yeah, roll call. Uh, we didn't get a vote on that one. I'll make a motion. Oh, second. Okay. Um, I thought we did. Okay. Mayor Anybody else? Questions, comment? Roll call. Mayor Barzian? Yes. Mr. Baylor? Yes. Mr. Beam? Yes. Mr. Finney? Yes. Ms. McDermott? Yes. 2023 elections polling place. Do we have anything to discuss on it anymore? I actually do have an update. Uh, okay. we, we went through the walkthrough. Um, Bill Duffy, uh, the chief, and I, um, we met with Renee and a few others, and they did the walkthrough, and they were extremely accommodating, and everybody was very satisfied with uh, everything, I think, from the security standpoint to the layout to the space they were giving us and parking. It all looked great. So, um, Bill Duffy actually just sent me uh, cards that will be mailed to every resident in Greenwich, just advising of the new polling place, and um, we'll get a lot of phone calls. But is that so for the primary moving forward? Voting. I, be I believe it's all going to be in. Wow, great! So I don't want to speak for the board of elections, but I okay. found it like was the squad buildings no longer. So I think once they they're final final on this, they'll be right. notifying the squad and and the churches and whatnot. So. Now, new facility update. Anything, Joe? Uh, yes, just real quick. Engineer sent an email to me in the beginning of the week, and we've served the ball back up to the county. They should be reviewing it here at the end of May for the driveway. And I, uh, in front of the fire station, and I told them to reduce it down to their required 50 foot easement that or driveway opening right. were, but they're also we're also proposing a smaller one. For where the firefighters would be pulling in and going around the building. We'll see if they uh, accept that. They just didn't want that whole driveway, that whole front of that right. building open. I wish Greenwich Street was a town road and be done already. Okay. Or once again, like Attorney Lavery said, the tennis that we play with the county is ridiculous getting approvals from them. Okay. Is this the last thing, Joe, that we're waiting for? Once they, once they approve the site plan, they can go out the bit. Any updates on the fire hydrants, Mike? I talked to Joe before the meeting. He's just going to check his notes on the number. Because it was, you know, they're giving us a credit for, I think, 18 or 19. 18. And 18. And originally we had a number 29. So Joe's just going to check his notes to see if the, we think the 18 may be correct for the reimbursement, but he'll just double check. And then I can let uh, Aqua know. Yeah. And what's the date of from when to when? Are we getting it from day one of their billing? Well, I think we're getting a year, right? Right that's now a, they offered us a, a year. year. Right now they offered us a year. And that's probably about, it's probably been about a year since we found out, right? Yeah. So unless we can prove it goes back further than that, we got to prove, you know. Yeah. Okay. Correspondence. Letter from Ben J D O T. Is that somebody we're just going to refer to the finale? I think he actually already spoke to it. Yeah, I think he spoke to it for next year. That, mm -hmm. That's what I thought of. <clears throat> okay, I'll move up. I'll make a motion. We open public comment. Anybody want a second? Before we do that, can we have a school board update? <laughs> <laughs> you know it better than mine is. Yeah. Um... There is going to be an increase in the tax levy. Um, where there's been a rumor out there that we were going to do away with the after school activities, which is not true. But um, we did not renew the art and the um, music. 
So we're going to go out in November for a sep second question. There'll be two separate questions. One to bring back uh, art and music, and the other will be to bring to hire basic skills instructors. Um, on a $300,000 home, that increase for the first question would be about $101 a year. For that second question, for the BSI instructors, that will be $151 a year. So if you vote for both questions, the increase will be, you know, based on a $300,000 home, $252. That's about $21 a month. However, in April, I believe, we are going to go out for a bond referendum, and that's for the brick and mortar of the schools, especially the middle school. There's so many repairs that need to be done over there. The other night when we had our meeting, uh, we had tours for people to walk through the school. Um, you can see on the outside, um, there's, there's like space in between the walls and the floor on the outside, going to the outside of the building. The, a lot of the concrete um, on the steps, that's all, uh, kind of dissolving and cracking up. And um, on that bond referendum, depending on whether we go out for, um, the architect was out there and they did a walkthrough, $3 million, $5 million or $10 million on a 20 year referendum at 4%. So if we go out for 3 million, that would be a $67 increase. A 5 million would be, 111 increase and a 10 million would be $223 a year. So um, if we pass both referendums as well as the bond, I mean, both second questions, as well as the bond, the total tax increase would be With that jumps on his way to a fire. Mm -hmm. yeah. About 465, maybe? 252, and then the, the 223. The 223. Yeah, like four, four something. Like 475 a year. Right, 475 a year. And as you were saying, Bob, we've done everything that we possibly could. We've cut where we could possibly cut. We had so many students come out and we had public come out, Bill was there. Um, I think Brian, you were there. We've cut everything that we could possibly cut and people are not happy that there won't be art and music. And we realize how important that is, but you know, we can't cut science, we can't cut history, we can't cut English. We've done everything that we possibly could. We are down to the bare minimum. We don't have a lot of administrative staff. You know, teachers, we don't want to put this added burden onto the teachers to have to cover art and music as well as whatever subject they're already teaching. Right. But, you know, we, we just don't have the money. Yeah. Well, and a good question that people, people ask if what happens if, let's say, three years from now, you know, God forbid, we find ourselves in a similar situation, would we just cut art and music again? Right. As far as we know, we cannot, although it has been done in the past, but that's because the rule constantly changes. So we would never want to do that, but you know, there's never any guarantee. Yeah. So the referendum back in 2011, which I think was for the music teacher, mm -hmm. did Tina look into that? Did because I, I was able to go to the yes. county website and well, I saw they were passed, but it doesn't tell you what was passed. It didn't give me a description. It just said, you know, referendum, whatever number it was, you know, so. Well, the difference is um, if it's a second question and it passes, that money becomes part of the general fund. Okay. And, you know, it's in the purse. 
and it gets distributed according to the budget. With the referendum, that's usually um, like brick and mortar stuff. So you can only use it for that. And once the loan is paid back, then you know that's removed from your tax. Now on the uh, April ballot, <clears throat> I know the state is going to contribute 40%. That's for this year. I don't know what they're going to do next year. So any kind of construction, we should qualify for, if, it, if it's going to be the same as this year, that $10 yeah. million would really only be a $6 million burden. Right. That's the, um, for capital projects, yeah. Well, I have that so much. I got so much. That's true. Okay. There is the, the state is going to, uh, I believe it was 30. Putting on the slots. Yeah, I don't remember the percentage. Well, we'll worry about it. When yeah, we the get numbers there. are, but you're right. There's something they, will, they yeah. will contribute right. to that. Okay. The, only, the only other interesting thing that came out of that meeting last week at Town Hall was that there was a gentleman retired Bridgewater cop. He was a captain at Bridgewater. He went over for 10 years to Immaculata and did their security work. And he mentioned that the state does provide money per student for security reasons. So Tina got back to me today and they get $91 per student. We have 667 students, which is a little under 61,000. But she said it's used for cybersecurity, a whole bunch of other yeah. stuff. So I'm going to try to get a further breakdown of that. So maybe some of that money can go towards an, you know, another SRO for next year. And that's part of our state aid. But um, it's not as if we have no security at, at the schools. Right. So right. what we're the, the security items that we're in need of, which is why we're going out for the referendum, those items are in addition to security features that we already have. Right, your your middle school is in desperate need. Yes, it is. Okay. We can sneeze and open up those doors. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Becky. Thanks, Becky. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> uh, okay. Make a motion we open up public comment. We didn't move the public comment. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make a motion we open public comment. Second. All favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody wish to make a statement? Come up to the podium. Give it in my report. I just, uh, on a separate note, National Night Out for the Police Department. Uh, looking for Tuesday, August 1st, between 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. again at Tom Stewart Park, if we can secure that. No, okay. you want to reserve it? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, you Tuesday rentals, right? Okay. Uh, and Thank I you. just wanted to give an update for that uh, for that right. stop bullying or stop uh, school violence grant. I did submit about approximately sixty thousand dollars in reimbursement from that grant for uh, what I've done thus far and ordered and whatnot. And in case uh, I sent that note to the to the mayor, um, we were awarded the uh, license plate reader grant from the state for one hundred thirty five thousand. So uh, that should uh, help us with the IT for the future of uh, our um, server with the license plate reader, and then get some additional ones in the township. So that's it. Thanks, Chief. Anyone else? I'll make a motion. Oh, hold on. Just one thing. I was just, uh, I know it's not supposed to be a question. Right? <laughs> so, well, you can ask but, a question. But, you just don't have to answer it. Okay. <laughs> the, uh, the 2023 election polling place, could you give a little more detail on that? Is it a, is it a new polling place or are you updating? Okay. That one? That, that, that was it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Anybody else? I'll make a close public comment. Second. All in favor? All right. <laughs> Anybody want to answer a question? We're moving into the school. We're moving at the school from three polling places. Why don't we have four? I was kind of surprised. See, I was stuck. Yeah. I hadn't heard that that was Yeah, I, I didn't think we were going to do it this year. I thought it was going to be. But there is a yeah. chance, according to Lisa, so for... that June's primary will be at the, that school. So hopefully oh. we'll get it, because uh, that's coming up in, what, three weeks? Yeah. About three weeks? 
So, and I didn't even know. <laughs> I didn't know either until tonight till she said that they had to walk through and you know. Oh, okay. When she said polling place, I didn't know where they were. Okay, thank you. <laughs> We close it right. Okay, I'm looking for. I'll make a motion. We go to executive session to discuss contracts regarding Comcast and attorney client privilege regarding area need of redevelopment. Anybody, I'll second. Any, all in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm going to say we shouldn't be, we should be done by eight o'clock. If anybody really has the desire to wait, <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, I'll open the door. I'll make a motion. We come out of executive session. Anybody want a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Ben, Mike, you want to give a brief Yes, Mayor. We emerged from executive session at 7.56 p.m. where we discussed uh, two matters, contractual matter dealing with Comcast, an attorney client privilege matter dealing with the area need of redevelopment, and one contractual matter dealing with the uh, school repair. No official action was taken. A copy of these minutes will be available at such time as the committee determines there is no harm to the public interest. Okay. Bill, you have a motion to make regarding the yes. transfer entry into school? Yes, I uh, make a motion to authorize the DPW to repair the storm drain that was damaged apparently during uh, snow season uh, and to authorize the clerk to forward a letter to. Uh, Tips. Okay. To see if there's an you know, see if we can, yeah. you know, they can claim it on their insurance. Everyone, a second. A second. Any questions, comments, discussion, roll call. Mayor Barsley. Yes. Mr. Baylor. Yes. Mr. Beam. Yes. Mr. Kenner. Yes. Mr. McDermott. Yes. Mike, we need to make a motion regarding that property maintenance letter and how we word that. Yes, Mayor. Uh, if the committee is so inclined, we need a motion to authorize the clerk to send the bill for property maintenance to the owner of the properties discussed in executive session. I'll make that motion. Everyone, second. Back in. Any questions, comments, roll call? Mayor Barsley? Yes. Mr. Baylor? Yes. Mr. Beam? Yes. Mr. Kenneth? Yes. Mr. McDermott? Yes. I'd like to make a motion to authorize the township clerk and the township attorney to work on updates to the property maintenance code for the township. Anybody want a second? Thank you. Um, roll call. Mr. Uh, Mayor Barsley? Yes. Mr. Baylor? Yes. Mr. Beam? Yes. Mr. Kenneth? Yes. Mr. McDermott? Yes. Anybody have any other business they want to bring up? We're looking for a motion to adjourn then. Make that motion. I'll second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks, everyone. Doggone. Nice dog. Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody. <laughs>